welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I will be creating a simple water fountain tutorial that you saw from the intro. You know, it's a short tutorial, but it should be fun. Let's go! First step, model a low poly water fountain so you can even do the water simulation in the first place. And now you can take the top part and duplicate it and then move it upward and extrude it downward. This will be what you're emitting your object from. So then you need to select that object and hit P to separate it into a different object. And now we can finally work on the fluid simulation part. But first, I recommend you save it. Now take the emitter object and go to physics tab and click fluid. Then change the flow type to liquid and change the flow behavior to inflow. Then you can add a cube and scale it around and move it around until it surrounds your entire object. Then go into the physics tab and hit fluid. Under fluid, change the type to domain and the domain type to liquid. Now it's time to crank up the resolution. So I start with 64, but it turns out in the final render, I end up going with 120. The higher, the better. Then check mesh. And before I forget, go back up and check diffusion. This allows you to choose how thick it is and it has an exponent, which I just leave at six, but you can change it to five or seven if you want a little bit thicker or a little less thick. The higher the value, the more runny of a liquid it is. And change the cache type to all. By doing this, that will make it so you can actually bake the simulation. Now select the fountain, select fluid, and then the type to effector. When you do this, then you're pretty much good, other than you need to change the surface to 0.1 or 2, and if the water still goes through the object after this, then you can make that number higher. And now if you want the liquid to actually leave the scene, you can go and add another object and put that object somewhere the liquid will touch, because when the liquid touches it, the liquid pretty much just gets drained. It's basically a drain, and to do this, you go type flow, flow type, liquid, and flow behavior, outflow. And here's an example of how the water comes in and then the outflow takes the water out. Now for some simple textures. I went to texture.com and found a decent temp texture that ended up working. I didn't end up spending a lot of time on UV unwrapping, so it's not the best, but it works for what I want. I then made a very simple water material and an HDRI from HDRI Haven. And boom, I had this. Well, there we have it. One downside about doing a water material with the simulation is that they typically have to be rendered in cycles because the water really only looks good in cycles. And that's why this video wasn't out on Thursday and is out on Tuesday. So to make up for not having a video last week, there will be two videos this week. I totally underestimated the render time. Well, with that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and bye.